What's good, everybody? We're here with another comic book review. Back to Marvel this time. We went DC heavy for a stretch, but we're doing Marvel again. Iron Man issue number two. Christopher Cantwell, Kafu, and um, Frank De Armada. That's who it is. Uh, is the creative team behind this issue. We did a review for issue number one. Oop. It'll be also be in the description and probably at the end, but we're going to put a card up there as well. And uh, I want to shut up and we're just going to go ahead and uh, start talking about it. Uh, so we're going to get into it normally. Uh, the art in this, again, is absolutely 100% stunning. You couldn't pick a better artist for this book. Kafu is knocking it out of the park. There's a scene in the beginning of this with Korvac. I don't want to spoil anything in this. We're going spoiler-free on reviews from here on out. Uh, unless we say otherwise. We're doing spoiler-free reviews for now. But there's a scene in the beginning of this with Korvac in a lab. And holy shit, the lighting in that is beautiful. It's cinematic as shit. I love it. Uh, definitely think Kafu is one of the best artists in the game right now. Probably the best artist in the Marvel stable. He's crushing it on this book. It's only issue number two, and I have no complaints about the art whatsoever. It's beautiful. All right, so let's get into the story a little bit. Uh, I can't really say too much um, about the art on this because there's no negative things to really talk about. And what kind of review is it just sitting here going perfect, perfect, perfect? But, uh, you know, I will say this. You know, the story in this one wasn't paced all that evenly. It's just a single issue story. Um, but there's a whole lot of action. It's really fast. But, you know, it's fast, 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 fast. There's no real slowdown until, like, one scene in the end. There's a breathing scene, and that's it. It's all action except for two little breaks. So even though they only had, you know, those two little bumps in the road, um, not really bumps in the road, but two little pauses in the speed of the story, uh, you know, it was all entertaining, so the pacing really wasn't, like, a problem. Like, you're not going to sit here and go, man, I can't read this book. It's not like Empire. Where it was just like, fuck, how long is this going to last? But uh, it's really good, but could have been better on the pacing thing. Uh, the overarching story in this, like, you know, they have five, six issue arcs now on pretty much every Marvel book ever. Five to six issue arcs. There's never just one off stories like DC does with Detective Comics. The overarching story definitely gets shoved way off to the back burner in this one. But, I think that was a good thing, because you get to see this, um, uh, I don't know what kind of word, kind of introspective version of Tony Stark whenever he's flying off to see, uh, the villain, Cardiac, in this, the villain of the week, I guess we're gonna call him, of this. I don't know if he's coming back or not, they don't really say, there's no real purpose to bring him back again. But, um, you get to this little introspective dialogue, and, you know, so you get to learn a little bit more. You do use to um, you do set Tony and Patsy up a lot better in this issue since you're not going just Corvac 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 the entire time, which is a good thing. You need to set Tony up. You're only on issue two, so we need to know how this Tony Stark is. You did a really good job laying the foundation. Now you got to start building that house. You got to put every one of the bricks in place so we understand this version of Tony Stark and why this one is supposed to be uh, so much different than what we've been getting. And so far, it is has been very different so far in a good way though so we will uh hopefully they continue on that but um the setup the way they've been setting it up so far it's doing good like i said you're gonna have to keep laying bricks and uh, everywhere to get your house built but you know they got a good start on it i do like i said i, I don't want to say anything too much about it that's why i'm kind of going back and forth right here because i start to say a spoiler because i'm so used to just going panel by panel we did a whole Basically, I read you the issue for the, whenever I did these, um, whenever I started these single issue reviews, I was pretty much just, just saying a few things about the art, reading you the story, and then telling you what I thought about the story. But, um, anyways, I don't know why I decided to say that in here. <laughs> uh, yeah. So when you get that introspective scene with Tony and you get all the chop busting from Patsy, you understand this little back and forth that they're going to have for the arc and maybe the entire run on the book. We don't know how long Cantwell's going to stay on Iron Man. He only got ten issues on Doom, so hopefully it's a little longer than ten in here. But um, they're doing well. Hopefully they can get a little bit deeper in here. I'm not saying you got to ship the two of them or anything, but get a little bit more than just Tony talks about feelings. She makes fun of him over and over again. 
it was really cute and real fun in the in the beginning, you know, in issue one and stuff. But if it's gonna be more of the same in issue two, uh, you're gonna have to expand on it. Otherwise, it's gonna get real stale, real quick. One thing that's gonna put off a lot of comic uh, commentators on here on the platform. Uh, there's a ton, a ton of social commentary in this issue. I don't really want to talk about politics. I don't really want to take any real political, you know, soapboxes or anything. I'm not Stan Lee. I'm, I'm not doing that. But a lot of people do with their politics, and they don't like it in there. I think it's always been in there. You look at the first appearance of Captain America. He's punching Hitler in the face. Politics have always been in comics for somewhat, especially in World War II and stuff. And this particular book, there's a ton of social commentary, and I'm not going to get into it too much. What I will say is that um, Cardiac and his messaging makes some pretty strong points, and his methods, pretty fucked up. But his ideas, kind of on the money, but there's a ton of it throughout it. Uh, the Corvax scene in the lab has some... He's kind of given his uh, perspective on what he's thinking of humanity and and uh, everything like that. Uh, like I said, no spoilers from me on this one anymore. It used to be all spoilers, now it's none. Anyways, the overall story in this was okay. It wasn't as, as good as the first issue, but uh, I like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 4 out of 5. Like I said, not near as good. Not Well, not as good as the first one. But still very solid. Definitely want to keep sticking with Iron Man. You should too. If you um, if you like Christopher Cantwell, and if you like great artwork, this is a book for you. It's only on issue number two. I think you can still pick up first print copies of uh, issue number one. There's a ton of variant covers for it too. So you might, if you can't get the A cover, you can probably get the C cover or something. Or get it digitally. Comics Algae is always a um, option, the Marvel Comics app, if you have an iPad, phone, or whatever you want to read on, you can always do it on there too, but jump onto the series, it's still early on, it's going to tie into the King in Black um, event, if you're going to read that next couple months, and uh, that's pretty much, it, pretty much it for me, 4 out of 5, I thoroughly enjoy Christopher Cantwell's writing so far, and all the stuff he's done at Marvel, which I'm pretty sure is only Doctor Doom, and these couple Iron Man issues, I might be wrong, though. I might be missing one other, but I think it's just these two. Doom and Iron Man are actually crossing over in the uh, King in Black series, uh, event series they're doing. It's a weird premise. I'm pretty sure they're fighting Santa Claus. Comic books are weird, man. But I'm going to read it. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you next time for probably another comic book review. And um, go read Iron Man. See ya.